What world is it we live in when a man can kick another man square in his balls and not expect to receive severe punishment? Aaron Stevens robbed the world of generations of beautiful Blompier children. He left me in this wheelchair. He left me helpless. I want him to feel helpless. I want him to feel humiliated. I want him to be punished. I want his career over. I want his family to starve and beg in the streets. I want him to be left in a pool of his own blood. And I think you can help me with that one. Take my hand and let us form a prospective partnership. <laughs> Together, we're going to be unstoppable. <laughs>
I'm not surprised. You've got to feel a little bit sorry for Joseph Connors here, haven't you? Just as he's got used to the uh, eccentricities of Joe Hendry, he finds himself partnering with Grado as well. Oh, he's winded up. He's winded up. And Archer is saved by Gracie. I was wondering if he was going to do it backwards. And I would have said, can I get a rewind? Oh, God. Drake. I got the reference, by the way. I ignored you. Drake was sent flying on top of Alex Gracie and Lucas Archer. These three guys, ever since Drake joined them, are built to destroy. Been wreaking havoc here in WCPW. And don't you think it's some weird kind of karmic consequence that Joe Connors was so insecure about being overshadowed by a larger than life personality that Joe, like Joe Hendry, and now he's got Grado on the other side? Yeah, be careful what you wish for, I guess, right? It seems like uh, Hendry and Connors have come to some kind of detente in recent times. They are getting along a lot better. It seems like they understand each other. I'm not sure anyone in the world understands Grado. Grado, of course, fresh off a big win against Martin Kirby. You may have seen earlier Kirby challenging Will Ospreay to a match later I, on. I have an exclusive. Are you ready for this? Being what? the investigative journalist that I am, I can officially reveal to the world that Will Ospreay, you ready for this, Dave Bradshaw, has accepted the challenge of Martin Kirby. It's going to happen really? on this episode. Yes, it's going to happen. Right, Osprey would waste his time. Kirby my, hasn't won a match. My little birds told me. Who are your little birds? My little birds. I have to send them out. They come back. They give me information. Little birds. All right. Well, that sounded weird, but we'll go with it. I don't Great. mean small women. I mean little birds. <laughs> okay. Grado and uh, Connors with a double elbow. Two count on Drake. Grado with very unorthodox style we saw him bring a toothbrush to the ring and use it as a weapon against Martin Kirby last week and this is the advantage that a team like Prospect have because they're young they're hungry and they Dave Bradshaw are a unit they want this win what a high profile win that'd be you imagine that over Grado Connors and Hendry that'd be like that'd be the highlight of the year hey you stumbled across a good point there because actually you mean I stumbled across across a good point all I make is good points. It was a compliment. Take it. These three have been teaming at least for a little while, or in uh, Archer and, and Gracie's case, for quite a long time. Whereas Connors and Hendry have barely been teaming for any time. Grado, new to this uh, this team tonight. So Prospect, you would assume, would be the more coherent unit. But we'll see as we as we proceed here. the audience chant let's go Joe Joe Connors pretends they're talking about him they are talking about him aren't they it's got to be Joe Hendry I mean listen to that song that is that is just a that was a classic I want to see if I can get that on my iPod I don't actually have one of those anymore I use an iPhone but you know what I'm saying I'm not sure it's going to be released as a single it might be an album track that one but in any case Gracie is in there now against Connors and by the way the crowd are now definitely cheering for Joseph Connors they've got it wrong it should be and Joseph Connors and Joseph Connors okay what do you think? sit out Sam. I think you've got a long way to go before you get into uh, Joe Henry's band do you have a band? I don't know if it's... it might be overselling it to call it a band anyway Connors doing a number on Alex Gracie. Archer tried to save his tag partner, but Connor saw him coming. What about Joe Hendry in the average show? S like, well, there's only one other Joe. No, that's what work, I put at the end. Well, he's not very average at the moment. He's distinctly above average is Connors because he's doing a number on all three members of Prospect. Alex Gracie is in a bad, bad place. Center of the ring with Joe Connors. Oh. Gracie landed on his feet, was going to try and uh, get a cheap shot on Hendry. Oh. Oh. In the end, Connors with the, the accidental shot on his own tag partner. So that was unfortunate, but Connors still laying into Gracie. Oh, look at that tag. Nice tag there by Lucas Archer. And oh, wow. I was going to say, I don't think Connors saw the tag, but it didn't matter. He took them both down anyway with a double clothesline. Here comes Drake. Oh. Drake is in on white. And that is the move at least from a standing position that proved that big point 
against Jay Lethal, and that right there. Oh, Dave, no, don't. Could is be it? All. It is all. It is wow. all. So for, for Joseph Connors, Connors is eliminated, which means that Prospect have a three or two advantage. See that brutal double team manoeuvre by, by Archer and Gracie. Enough to take out Connors. Well, that is big news, Dave. Who would have imagined that one of that team would go so soon? And who would have thought it had been Connors and Grado in there? Look, the straps come down. Grado knows he's got to fire it up a couple of gears now because there's a danger with the advantage that Prospect could do the clean sweep. Grado is almost seems, seems like he's got eyes in the side of his head seeing uh, Drake and Gracie coming after him. Grado, Grado Crusher. Second row, Grado Crusher. Oh, Grado is cooking with gas in Newcastle. Kennedy's trying to cut off that momentum. Oh, oh my God. He blocked so he blocked PA'd him. Oh, no. oh. oh, well, that's ridiculous. Grado has been eliminated. Well, if there wasn't already enough reason to give Drake all the credit in the world, this guy can seize an opportunity like no one else in British wrestling, and he's just got a pin on Grado. Come on, put it over. Let me hit the low blow. What do you so want to put over? Doesn't matter how you do it. It's as long as you get how it you done. Do it. it does matter. Of course it does. All's fair in love, war, and six-man tag matches in WCPW. It Particularly ain't, elimination style. Ain't six anymore. It's uh, three on one. I thought this a uh, hypothetical situation at the start of the match, but it's become very, very real for Joe Hendry, who is being just absolutely gang mugged at the moment. It's become ironic, that song about having all his friends and one become three, and now it's back to one again. Forget Madonna, it's like, you know, now Grado's got his kind of more spy skills. Two become one. Well, you're right, three has become two, has become one. And Joe Hendry likes to be the centre of attention. Well, he's got his wish, but not in the way he would have liked at the moment, because he is very much the centre of the abuse that Prospect are dishing out. But just for the record, the song was called Two Become One, not Three Become Two Become One. I know that. That's not what you said. I've seen your Spice Girls album collection. You lent me one of them, remember? Archer, that front face walk on Joe Hendry. I just wanted to spice up your life. The way you said that with a smile on your face, like it was the most brilliant thing you ever thought of to say. It was up there. God bless you. Anyway, Archer. The referee is checking that's not a chokehold that Archer has on Hendry. Hendry struggling to get that oxygen flow into his brain, but he oh. had enough in him to hit that suplex on Lucas Archer. And you know, behind all the singing and behind all the showboating, you can kind of forget just how strong Joe Hendry is, but that was a classic example. It was classic Hendry. Here comes Drake into the corner. Hendry going to roll him up. Hendry, he's got two, he's got three, he gets him, gets him, gets him. Drake has been eliminated. Well, you can forget the clean sweep, Kennedy. It's two on one now. Kennedy having to look on as Hendry with the back elbow on Archer. Here comes Gracie after him. Got Hendry putting in a superhuman effort against the three men of Prospect. Hendry now, whip off, reversal, and keep your eye on Hendry because this guy can move. Look at this, he knows he's in for the fight of his life now because he cannot afford to lose against Prospect. Oh. Remember, these guys beat him and Joe Connors at Built to Destroy, and Hendry is not going to want that to happen again, Wool. It was just within half a second of happening again just there as Archer went for the cover. This match will continue, and Hendry is going to have to find a little bit more. He's going to have to find some more in the tank if he's going to beat two out of the three members of Prospect. Hendry not even able to get to his feet from this torrent of, a, of strikes from Archer, but now he catches him. Maybe we're going to see that fall away slam. Oh, Archer lands on his feet, had it scouted. Hendry reverses. Gracie knocked off, off the apron. And Hendry, Hendry takes Archer down. Got the leg hook. Is he going to get him? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. And we're down to Gracie v Hendry.
Dominated. Oh, look at this on our replay. I mean, it was impressive. Dominator style move there, almost into a DDT by Joe Hendry. And now it's Hendry v Alex Gracie. And as much as I like the name Alex, for obvious reasons, this is going to be the toughest challenge Gracie has ever faced. Momentum is on the side of Joe Hendry, and this would be a career highlight if he can go from three on one down to being the last man standing in this six man elimination match. Cover by Gracie. Only got two. Snap side suplex there by Gracie, and you can see the look on his face right now. He realizes that if he can get a singles win against Joe Hendry, then as impressive as the tag team win was, this would be a big, big story in WCPW. Gracie was trying to put Hendry away. Hendry goes for a roll up. He beat Drake with that already, but not enough to put away Gracie, at least not yet. Gonna maybe go for that sit out dominator a second time. No, Gracie. Reverse him, it looks like he's ever done prettier or something, but Hendry sends him to the ropes. Second time, here comes Hendry, oh. big boot! It's like a Grado tribute as the wee boot, but a lot bigger coming from Hendry into a neck breaker, center of the ring. And that has just leveled the playing field. That could be, it could do more than level the playing field. It could be, oh, come on! Kennedy, Kennedy distracting the ref, and now Drake's back out here! Turn around, Joe, turn around! You know what he's set up for, Dave? Shades of Jay Lethal, can he hit it off? Oh, oh, thank goodness, Hendry moved. Gracie, a full Nelson slam on Hendry. Referee is in, no, not like this, not like this. No, 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 Hendry kicks out. Come on, Joe. Did you see the force of that kick out by Joe Hendry? It was like he dug down to a deep, deep place because he was not going to let Prospect get the upper hand in this battle of egos and this battle of wills. And right there, the will of Joe Hendry surpassed the will of the entire Prospect organisation. And I did call him an organisation. Now Archer is back as well. Oh, well that's backfired, just like Drake's interference did. Remember Gracie, the only man legally in the match still for Prospect. Oh, oh, no way. No, no, no. Surely not. Hendry, look at the strength oh. of Joe Hendry! A double fall away slam! Hey, oh my is God! He, is he? And he does! Hendry wins! Ladies and gentlemen, the winners of the match, the team of Greedo, Joseph Connors, and Joe Hendry! Do you believe in miracles, Joe Hendry? Just pulled victory from the jaws of defeat. 3-1 down to the last man standing tonight unloaded. It was an impressive win, no doubt about it for Joe Hendry. But if I was Hendry, I would have eyes inserted in the back of my head because there is no way on God's green earth that James R. Kennedy and any of Prospect are going to take that loss laying down. Whether you think it or whether this packed crowd here in the O2 in Newcastle think it, this war is only just beginning. Look at the strength of Joe Hendry with this double four away slam. That is remarkable. Truly, truly remarkable. And Alex, in answer to what you just said, Joe Hendry does have eyes in the back of his head. That's why he teamed with Joseph Connors in the first place to stop Prospect from jumping him. Well, then he's going to have to get glasses, put those on the eyes in the back of his head, and get more eyes in the back of his head. Because what I'm telling you, Dave Bradshaw, is this one is not over. However, I am amped up, and you know why? Because the biggest match of mine, Kirby's career, is just around the corner. Kirby and Osprey is next. Joining me backstage is the one, the only, Aaron Stevens. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me. You're very welcome. I just need to ask you, tonight, World Championship match against Big Demo. How are you feeling going into this? Obviously, you've been watching him mm -hmm. after a few integrations. Well, uh, my first introduction to Big Demo was uh, him sneaking up from behind me and threatening the possibility of me ever having children. Right, we saw that two weeks ago. Last week, uh, I went out there with Mr. Blumpier and uh, I did the human race a favor and made sure that he will be sterile for the rest of his life. So, tonight, 
me and Big Damo are going to have to go in the ring one on one. Difference is, we're actually going to be looking at each other. He can't attack me from behind. He's going to be face to face, and that's why I'm going to walk out the WCPW champion. Mm. Joe Hendry made mm. things. Oh, Joe! Oh! Oh, I, I sincerely apologize. No apologies need that in time. Come here. Come here, guy, guy, guy. Come here. I saw what you just did, man. You took on three guys. You beat three guys. A day in the life. Really? Very, very cool. Tell you what. I have a feeling that Mr. Blumpier is up to some shenanigans. Tom Foolery, Scott Duggery, I don't know what exactly you guys call it here, but you get my drift, right? I do. Am I saying that right? I do. Absolutely. Why don't you go just... Stick around the monitor, watch, and uh, I wouldn't mind just you kind of watching my back tonight. Mr. Stevens, if there's one thing that professional wrestling needs, mm -hmm. it is polite intellectuals such as yourself. I would be honored, the local hero would be honored to have your back tonight in your championship match. Do you want to see WCPW live but are allergic to the awful people of Newcastle? WCPW is coming to Greater Manchester on Saturday the 8th of October to the Altrium Silver Blades Arena. Your ticket won't just get you a stacked card featuring Cody Rhodes vs Kurt Angle, but will also grant you access to our first ever fan convention during the day. Meet the What Culture guys, have photos with your favourite WCPW wrestlers, a host of other surprises and VIP members will get to meet Kurt Angle and Cody Rhodes in person. Tickets can be bought at WC.PW.